Jason Phillips from Ottawa Praise, December 20th, 2011. Getting ready to test drive the 1967 Pontiac GTO. This is part two of a two-part video. We're down in Clarkston, Michigan at Southern Motors today. The first video you'll go back and take a peek at. I just did a walk around of the car, under hood, trunk, and underbody. It's a nice original Fremont car. Very nice solid underbody. The parking brake is uh, holding. It's a WV Suffax code, 360 horse, four speed, four barrel car. Tachometer is working. Parking brake's working. The oil pressure showing to hold about probably 50 pounds of cold cold oil pressure. Gas gauge appears to be working. Wood grain all looks pretty nice in the car. I'm gonna hand off the camera to my assistant. We're gonna we're gonna get rolling. It's a good looking uh, car. It's not um, it's not in its original color scheme. It does have the original uh, black interior. The car came, uh, according to trim tag, as a uh, Montego cream exterior and it's currently painted blue. Uh, the paint reflective quality is very nice. There was like three blues available in 1967. And I'm not sure which one this is or if it's even one from the year. It does appear to be a period like that uh, Tyrol blue. There was a Fathom and a Montreux blue, I believe, in 67. Uh, there was even a turquoise, a Mariner turquoise in 67, but it's definitely not turquoise. It's got the uh, correct style Muncie transmission, 388-5010 case. Date code indicates it's a 67 Trans. Uh, the rear end has a late 66 cast date, and this was a October 66 built car. So it's an early 67 model year car. The engine uh, cast number in the back indicates it was a J36. So it's a, uh, again, a late cast block in 1966. appears to be tracking pretty straight. No real pulling noted. I'm going to stab the brakes here. Hold on, okay? It's a four-wheel drum brake car. The way they were set up. I'm going to stab them again here, Jay. Be aware. Hands off the wheel again. Let's see what's going on. Got a slight pull to the left. Kind of pulls me towards the line, as you can see. signals we checked before we left. They flash left and right, uh, front and rear. And uh, I'm having a hard time making out the flashing on the inside. I don't know if that lens is not aligned right or they're perhaps burnt out on the inside. The tachometer appears to be functioning. I noticed that the water temp gauge uh, wire was not attached to the temp sending unit and apparently they're uh, working on that right now. The heater blower appears to work good. Headlights and taillights and brake lights all appear to function. The clutch engages very nicely. It's got about a three-quarter inch of uh, free pedal at the top, maybe up to an inch. Didn't uh, jump or shatter at all when we first went into gear. Power steering assist seems to be working pretty nice. Power brakes are working as they should, other than that slight pull to the left. We're going to need the heat. 
heat today because it is cold. It's probably about 25 degrees here in Michigan, would you say? Yep. Car's got a nice rumble to it. Started up easily with a couple puffs. It was in a warm showroom when we arrived. So once it was pushed outside, uh, let's say the ambient temperature probably of the car from cold start was about maybe 40 to 45 degrees. The car's got a black vinyl top. And I didn't read the codes on the uh, foul tag close enough to look and see if it was an originally uh, originally a vinyl top car. This one has a nice replacement steering wheel. The horn chrome's been done. Dash is in good shape. Looks like it might be an original unit. Spin around and oh, she's warmed up and give it a little. Transmission seems to shift in and out of gear freely, no binding in the linkage. Thanks for watching. Happy